Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about unrooted versus rooted trees and today I'm going to explain numbers that you can see in this table. Probably you already saw this table before but for some students it makes some difficulty to understand how we get all these numbers and today I'm going to go not over all these numbers but only about first four rows. So here is the first example, number of taxa 2 and we should get number of unrooted tree 1 and number of rooted tree also 1. So take a look, for example we have only two taxa, so A and B and we connect them like this for example. This is going to be example of unrooted tree. What if we add a root here and let's say this is going to be a root. In this case our phylogenetic tree is going to look as follows. So we are going to have species A here and B here and here is going to be our root. So as you see with two species A and B we have only one unrooted variant and only one rooted variant. But you may also say that probably we have more variants here. For example, why not? For example, we can say that B is going to be here and species A going to be here and this is going to be second variant. Actually not. This is going to be the same variant because here we only consider uh, how species are related to each other. And this phylogenetic tree and this one is the same. So relationship is going to be the same. Those here we have A and B and here B and A but again this is the same phylogenetic relationship so we consider it as one. So with just two taxa we have one unrooted variant and one rooted variant. So we are done with two taxa, now let's talk about three taxa. And in this case relationship is going to be as follows, taxon A, B and C. And we can connect them like this and this is going to be example of unroot phylogenetic tree. So only one possible variant how we can get it unroot. So one with three taxa. Now let's find how we get this number three of rooted trees, phylogenetic trees with three taxa. Imagine that we can put a root here. So what we are going to get? In this case we are going to get the following phylogenetic relationships which is going to be as follows and here is going to be a root with green color. We are going to get B taxa here and A and C here. Second variant if we put a root here, in this case again we are going to get the following variant and it's going to look like this but this time we are going to get A here and B C here and the third variant would be if we put a root here and in this case again root going to be here and our phylogenetic relationship is going to be as follows. So we are going to get C here, A and B here. So only three variants possible. Again you are not going to get new variants of the relationship between these three taxa if you rotate for example here, here and here or for example if you rotate the whole phylogenetic tree you are not going to generate a new variance of the relationships between these three taxa. One more time, if you for example rotate here, you are going to get C, B, A. But it's going to be the same as C, A, B. And if you rotate the whole phylogenetic tree, relationship is going to be the same. But it's going to be B, A, C. It's not going to change anything. If we add three roots here, we are going to get three rooted trees. 
So let's also highlight that we done with this variant here. And now let's talk about variant with four taxa. So take a look. This time our relationship unrooted is going to look as follows. So we have taxon A, B, C, and D. And another variant would be if we change places, for example, A is going to be here, C here, and B and D going to be here. And one more variant would be if, again, we leave A here, but we put D here and C and B would be here. One more time, to be clear, if we rotate here, or for example here, we are going to produce new combinations, but it's not going to change relationship between these four taxa. So with four taxa, we are going to get only one, two, three unrooted trees. So four taxa and three unrooted trees. Now let's find how many rooted combinations we may have here. And we can put first root here, second here, third here, fourth here, and fifth here. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we may have total number of fifteen different rooted combinations. I hope you got the idea how rooted and unrooted trees are related. And if you take a look, with only 10 taxa, we can get almost 35 million combinations of rooted trees. So now you understand why I stop here on the fourth line. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.